well there it is tanks not over there anymore it's over there where it's supposed to be hey so I need to stop doing that pointing the camera right at the Sun here there now you can see my smiling face so no leaks first try and uh, uh, if you watched yesterday's video you remember I was showing you the pad and I uh, remember when I said man it feels like a low spot yeah uh, you might be able to see it or you let me try that again you might not be able to see it but you can feel it when you walk over it and it's you know it was substantial enough I'm gonna have to uh, do something about it but right now I just got temporarily shored up you can see that that's probably what, five eighths of an inch over there in there somewhere around there and I got my little nail puller on it right now I broke that strip in the forms so I just scrapped metal now it's okay I got about six of those <laughs> but uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, try to get my hands on some. I'll look on eBay and see if I can find any sellers that got, you know, polyurethane blocks and uh, cut some polyurethane wedges and put it underneath there for now. I don't want to use wood because you know what happens with wood and water. And I don't want to use metal because you got galvanized and dissimilar metals and electrolysis and. I don't have to deal with any of it, but I'm for right now I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. It's not leaking. It works. The best part about it, there's no leaks. Yeah, yeah instead of the instead of the, the gate valve I used a PVC uh, ball valve and then this hose bib is just a you know a 90 degree ball valve. And uh, here's the old one. <clears throat> Let's see if I can. I don't know if you can see down inside there. But you know, it's, there's a. If you're familiar with how most of these boat uh, hose bibs work, you screw that out and it raises a little gate in there that opens up the hole at the bottom where my thumb is. Yeah, you can't see in there. Well, I thought that the shaft had broke because you saw in an earlier video that, uh, you know, from a few weeks ago. I open this thing up, nothing happened. Well, it's just plugged. It's plugged full of sediment and dirt. This thing actually goes up and down. You can see it open up. But this thing, this gate valve is seized. Um, and let's see if I can build a crud in there. Look at that sky, isn't it pretty? What? Right where my thumb is, that's where it was leaking. Bunch of roots. Scrap. Forms are stripped. There she is, in her glory. But, uh, so now the water's hooked back up. I mean, it was hooked up last night, but by the time. By the time I got everything I needed to do this, I was going to do it last night. I just ran out of daylight, and my wife got home from uh, shopping with a friend of hers out in L.A. over the weekend. So just chill with the kids and Mama and uh, put the kids down for a nap this afternoon. Came out here and moved it over. Whole thing with a chicken wing. But now I think I will go take a shower, get the kids up, maybe shove some food down their necks. Uh, take a shower and shave this five-day growth off my face it's bugging the hell out of me 
but uh, yeah, just give you a little update. It's back where it's supposed to be. Oh, one of the things I did do, if you noticed, I used PVC here instead of you know putting this back in place. I think with see. And actually, this was the pad that was originally here was a couple inches taller than this one. So this was all out here like this, and the tank was off to the side; it wasn't centered. So anyway, I had the PVC, so I did it that way. I don't care if that's not the way it's supposed to be done; that's the way I did it. So there. <laughs> That's how we do it in the country, bro. Hey, Red Dog. Where are you, you little looker? Good job. Good job, little Red Dog. Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah, he's busy. Look at him. He's busy. He ain't going nowhere, but he's busy. Come on. Where's the other one? There he is. There she is. Your dog's got it made. They got it made. I want to come back as a dog. I mean, think about it. They get three hots in a cot. All the water they can drink. They can do their business anywhere, and they can lick themselves. I don't know where I'm going with this. Hi, Ryan. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Don't piss on me. So that's the well house for today. There. How many, I don't know how many minutes. But, uh, cool. Oh, yesterday when I was uh, I was heading out there to um, what was I doing? I was I drove the suburban back. Oh, I was uh, yesterday I was going to hook up the track the tractor. I was going to hook up the trailer, bring it back to its owner, and I got to over the corner of the property and I saw there was a hawk, a red tail hawk, sitting up on the power line, right over there in it. Let's see, right up there. I don't know if you can see the power line. See the power line? Yeah, there was a hawk sitting right up there. And then there was a crow sitting on the, the higher, well, the, the one, where's my finger? On that top wire, there's a crow sitting, the, the hawk was on this side and the crow was on this side, right? I thought, well, that's really unusual. i never seen a crow and a hawk hanging out together like that. Well, as soon as I got the truck, up to the corner, um, they both took the you know, they both flew away, and I caught some movement out of the corner of my eye, something that was falling, I, and I took a closer look, and you know, I saw it just as it hit the ground. So I go over and look, and here's half of a rabbit. The hawk had had got himself a rabbit, and rabbits out here are like nobody's business. The hawk had got himself a uh, lunch, and went up on the wire to eat lunch. And the crow was waiting for him to drop it. And uh, they flew over to the next pole down the road, uh, probably 150, 200 feet away. And they waited for me to leave. I don't know whatever happened, but I just thought that was cool. So, damn. Oh, I hear my son. He might be hungry. All right, so that's that's it for today. So um, probably won't see me for a few days. I need to procure some block. I didn't call that guy last night, by the way, but I'll call him tonight, see if he's still got that block. If not, I'll go to the Poe, up to the Poe, and get some block for a dollar twenty a block or something like that. So until then, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.